Hello and welcome to the latest forecast for the week ahead from the Met Office. Following a blustery few days, following a cold few days with hill snow in places, well the weather stays generally cold over the next couple of days. But then later in the week it turns much milder, albeit with wind and rain. You can see the general picture here on Monday with the jet stream diving to the south of the UK. These areas of low pressure still bringing areas of showers and rain, but heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, a ridge of high pressure briefly crosses the country and before we are then at the mercy of this powerful lobe of jet stream that is effectively acting as a conveyor belt for the second half of this week, deepening and transporting areas of low pressure our way. And as those lows arrive, well, the winds will become more southerly. So not only will we see a lot of wind and rain, we'll also see those temperatures begin to climb Thursday, Friday and into Saturday. Having said that, there will be some wet weather on Tuesday, especially during the morning for East Anglia in the southeast. The rain slowly petering out by the afternoon. A lot of cloud cover here. Brighter skies further north and west, but further showers for western parts of Britain. And some of those showers falling as snow over the Scottish mountains. Away from the showers, some sunshine and lighter winds generally compared to recent days. So where we get the sunshine and the light winds feeling quite pleasant, despite temperatures being a few degrees below average, five to eight degrees on the whole, a little bit lower further north. Fast forward to Wednesday morning, and it's a cold, crisp start to the day, fairly widely frost and fog patches, and many places dry. Now we keep the cold, bright weather for Scotland, for much of central and eastern England, for parts of East Wales as well through Wednesday further west, well, the cloud tends to build during the day, the winds pick up, and towards the end of the afternoon, outbreaks of rain arrive. Now you can see the temperature contrast. We keep the cold conditions in the east, but temperatures are rising in the south and the west as these winds pick up, although I suspect it won't feel particularly mild given that wind. And the wind is of concern later Wednesday because as the next area of low pressure arrives, the isobars tighten, there's the risk of coast gales, Northern Ireland, parts of southwest Scotland, Wales and the southwest, yellow warnings in force. Those wet and windy conditions spread across most parts overnight on Wednesday nights, so during the hours of darkness. Still, those winds will bring in milder air, so Thursday morning, complete contrast to Wednesday morning. It's not going to be cold, it's going to be mild, but it will be blustery with those winds only slowly clearing away from the east, wet weather hanging on for a time in the far east of England. And then brighter skies for many, and a lot of dry weather, albeit with a brisk breeze. But you can see across southern parts of Britain, showers during the day turn to more prolonged wet weather later on Thursday. So the rain never far away for southern parts of England as well as Wales. Temperatures 11 to 13 degrees in the south, eight or nine further north, so a much milder day compared to recent days. But like I say, with that rainfall in the south, well, turning heavier and persistent as we end Thursday. And this is associated with another area of low pressure which effectively deepens across the country on Friday. Some uncertainty about its depth at the moment could also produce some pretty strong winds during Friday. It's certainly one to watch. It will also carry with it areas of rainfall. A wet start to the day for Northern England, Scotland, Northern Ireland. That rainfall only slowly turning to showers and clearing northwards later in the day. Drier and brighter conditions by the afternoon in the south, but for many it's a blustery day. Strong winds or even gales in places, especially around northwestern coasts as that low pulls away. And well, despite all the weather going on, again, temperatures mild, above average for the time of year. As we end Friday, we can say goodbye to that low pressure. The next one is starting to move in for the weekend, but a brief drier spell for many as we start off the weekend. But low pressure, like I say, that is going to move in and it's going to dominate the weather for the weekend. So effectively the weekend staying changeable, windy, showery or more prolonged outbreaks of rain, particularly for southern parts of the country during Saturday. Mild at first, but the winds changing direction through the weekend, perhaps bringing colder weather by Sunday. So a lot going on over the next few days. The weather chopping and changing, a lot to think about if you've got any plans during the next week or so, of course, and you can keep up to date by following us on social media and you can check the forecast where you are on the Met Office app. Bye-bye.